So I traveled all the way from Seattle to Dr. Lee's office to have her look at these cysts that I have on my neck. I actually left the beautiful Seattle weather to come to California. When I look at these bumps, I remember horrible times that I've had in my life. I'm hoping that Dr. Lee can remove all these old memories and it will help me create new ones. Juliet, there's a Juliet in your Hi! Hi! How are you? Good, I'm gonna cry. Don't cry? <laughs> You don't want me to cry. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet I'm you. I'm Sandra, Dr. Lee. Welcome. Hi. What's going on? What are you here for? I'm here for... What are these? What do you have here? Yeah, all mm. right. So have you seen anybody for this before? About 25 years ago, I saw a dermatologist okay. who told me they could do nothing. This one here, and there's a vein here we can see. I know. You probably think about it all the time. Mm-hmm. It's all I ever see is these. Oh, these. What I think you have is um, something called steatocystomas. Okay. Okay, and which are true oil-producing cysts. And also, the ones that you have that are harder and like more like a blue color, mm -hmm. those are probably what we call eruptive vellus hair cysts. They're hard cysts under there that kind of pop out like a little bird seed, but if you cut through it and smush it down and put it under the microscope, you'll see thousands of coiled hair in them. Eruptive vellus hair cysts occur like on a continuum with steatocystomas. It's like they're somehow related because it's not uncommon to see people that have both eruptive vellus hair cysts and steatocystomas. There's a lot of them here, mm -hmm. but if we can try to get as many as we can there, that would be the best way to make you even feel so much better about yourself. Because I don't feel great about myself. Yeah, right? And I think that'll change it. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. We gotta, we gotta get them all out yeah. as many as we can, okay? Okay. All right, I'm gonna get started. Here. I'm gonna mark out kind of what we see here. The main one I want to mark out is this one right here, your neck here on this side. This, I want to avoid this. I believe that once I look in the mirror and they're gone, I feel like I'm gonna be set free. Well, you have a big heart to do this. Oh, thank you. I'm a little nervous because a lot of my bumps were close to veins. If she cut into that vein, I could bleed to death. I'm nervous right now. 